Hey guys, Tribal Hourglass here. Uh, I am currently playing SCP-087. Uh, most of you have probably seen Markiplier or other people play this. Uh, but I want to embark on this journey myself and see how it goes. From what I've heard so far, this is basically the stairway to hell. And there is... Uh, I don't really know what to say. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to jump into it and figure out how it goes. So far, it doesn't seem all that scary. It's basically just a stairwell. And currently on floor two. That's Joyce. Oh, I could jump. Fucking right. Uh, apparently, this is about as fast as I can go. Doesn't seem to be anything too... I don't know. The the uh, ambiance in this is fucking... I, I can admit that it is great. It is absolutely great. Dark atmosphere. You can't see much in front of you. And honestly, the whole setting of this... I mean, an endless staircase where you can apparently hear a child. Uh, I mean, just look at the walls. They're all dusty, dirty, corroded. Same with the railing. So far, I don't really see much happening. I'm going to turn my volume up. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, I've caught on the railing. Something is keeping me from going back up, apparently. Apparently, I cannot climb stairs. I could have swore I just heard somebody walking behind me. Anyways, carrying on with this hell journey. <coughs> yeah, sorry guys. <coughs> My throat's been acting up a lot lately, but... Uh... Oh, floor number seven. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything too extreme with this so far. I mean, the dark setting is kind of setting its uh, claws around my sanity. I'm not really minding this at all. I mean, it just basically seems like a, a stroll through a dark place. And that noise is getting louder. What the fuck? I could have swore I just heard somebody walking behind me again. Holy crap. Hey, I wonder if this will work. Oh man. Nope. I cannot jump over the railing and plummet to my death, but... I don't know. Let's see how much of this I can actually uh, conquer. What was that? Yeah, I'm actually very curious to figure out um, uh, what would happen if I just stood here. But if I did, it would probably bore all you guys. And quite frankly, I really don't want to do that. What was that? Is there somebody there? Uh, breathing in my ear? Sorry, man, but I'm, uh, I'm kind of not into that. Stop humming. This isn't a Gregorian chant. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Oh. <sighs> That is a heart attack and a half.
Yep, there is probably something behind my chair right now as I'm playing this, but, you know, I'm just going to carry on and hope to God that I don't die, both in the game and right now. I think it's pretty sad when I actually have to look behind me to figure out if I'm alone in here or not, but, you know, it's always the unknown that always gets to you. Ah, oh, there's that fucking shadow again. Jesus Christ. I don't know if it's a good point in time to be saying that, but... Oh, dear God. This is exactly how you get to somebody with ambiance and everything. I mean, it's just a shadow. It's not. It shouldn't even really be affecting me, but... It's just there, and it's just popping up, and it's just like... I don't know. It gets to you. It's just... You see a shadow moving, your first instinct is to look behind you because you think somebody's there. I mean, personally, I'd prefer somebody wasn't there, but I know something like that happens in these types of games. Truth be told, I wasn't expecting for uh, a shadow to pop up so soon. I was expecting to have to go down a couple more flights first, but okay. Uh, that doesn't say the floor number. I don't know. I've heard that people have gone down to at least like floor 80 sometimes. Uh, only on floor 25. I got a little bit to go. Anyways, what I read about this game so far is that, well, apparently the distance that you can see in front of you is only about 1.5 meters worth of staircase, if not less than, and quite frankly, What's more scary than not being able to see three feet in front of you? <clears throat> Honestly, I'm already a little nerve-wracked because of this, but... Uh, <laughs> yep, carrying on. Just going down this endless staircase. Going to say hi to Satan. Open to God that that breathing behind me goes away. Go away. Stop breathing. Jeez. Really getting to me, man. Yeah, overall, the reason I'm playing this is because I honestly love that, that goosebump chilling kind of moment. You, like... When you play a horror game or hear a ghost story that sounds just about real, you, you get those chills, those goosebumps, everything that kind of adds up into the ambiance of the story, game, whatever it is that suits your needs. And that breathing is getting a lot closer, and I am not liking it. Am I walking faster? I am not enjoying this at all. Currently in a dark room where my only light is the monitor, and even that isn't helping much. I can't see anything! I am not liking this. What the fuck was that? Go away, hell. Hell spawn, leave me alone. Please. Stop it. Stop breathing in my fucking ear! That is getting to me, man. Go away. What the fuck? That shadow got me for the third time now. Yeah, sorry if it sounds like I'm screaming into the microphone. It's just, uh... It's a fur... What the f That was right behind me. That shadow looked like it was right behind me. Yeah, my microphone settings are... I don't know. I'm... I'm using my phone as a microphone right now. I have it uh, hooked up to the microphone jack. Got a nap and everything. So far, after the kind of tests that I did with it, it it's been working out pretty great. Um, it's, it's just a basic microphone app and I'm surprised that it's working as well as it is. Um, as for recording wise, I'm using... Uh, it's, just, uh, it's this new thing that I found on the internet. It's called Action. Um, it's an action recorder, and it videotapes just about everything in front of you. Well, on the monitor, at least. Yeah, I would have put a face cam in for reaction. It's just, at the current moment, uh, both webcams that I have are unoperational. 
apparently, you know. I mean, I tried them both out. They didn't want to work for me with Florimion. I'm on 42. Oh, joy. The question and answer to the whole world and life. 42. So if 42 is the question and answer to the world and all of life, does that not mean that 24 just means that it's all oh, fuck, there's the face. There's the face. Hi there. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. And my game just crashed. <laughs> okay. That is, that is one way to make it work out. Um, I got chills and goosebumps all over. Overall, that game, although it was dragged on, I can clearly say that the ambiance and everything else in that game adds up close to perfect. If it wasn't for the slow walking speed, I probably would have already been at the end by now, so I do have to appreciate that they made me walk slow in that. But that ending, man, I do not even know what to say about that. Truth be told, I was not expecting that at all. Um, I was more thinking that it was going to be some kind of jump scare or something. That wasn't even really much of a jump scare. It was more like uh, hands reached out towards me. I, I, oh, Jesus. Honestly, I got chills and goosebumps at the end, so I'm going to, I'm going to rate this at least an 8 out of 10. Anyways, my time is basically up, so I will see you. The next time I decide to post a video. Anyways, this is Tribal Hourglass signing.